Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Zoe. I would really appreciate if you would subscribe down below to join the fam. Today I'm gonna be unboxing this huge package, and you can probably guess what is in here because you read the title. But today I'm unboxing the 21.5 inch iMac computer. Yes. I don't really know a lot about like computers and technology, so I only know like a few specs. So I know it has eight gigabytes of memory and it has one terabyte of storage, which is a lot. And we got the keyboard and the trackpad that comes with it. So that is what is in this huge boulder. So I'm gonna be unboxing this computer today because unboxing videos are just super satisfying to watch and they're also like so exciting and I'm so excited to open this. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And I'm also gonna be like setting it up at my desk and customizing it a little bit. So. So stay tuned for that. So you may or may not be wondering why I got an iMac because people don't just get iMacs every other day. So I'm gonna explain that very quickly, but if you wanna like skip ahead to the actual unboxing, feel free, I'm just gonna explain this if you care to know. Actually, let me get my little prop. So this is the computer that I have right now. It's the MacBook Pro 2017 and it has like the little touch bar and everything. It's a great computer. I got it as my graduation gift from graduating high school. Unfortunately though, in November, the past November, so like November 2019, it started to like not work. Like a bunch of things just stopped working. My T key stopped working and my H key stopped working. They didn't work for like two weeks. And then once they started working again, they would double. So every time I would write a T, it would put two T's and every time I would write an H would put two H's and like writing an essay is hard enough without that and also for some reason like you can have your computer open like this and if you close it like that it goes to sleep so mine stopped working like that I would close the lid and put it in my backpack and I would take the bus home from classes and when I got back to my bedroom if I opened up my bag my bag was like on fire because this had been like heating up because it didn't turn off which was kind of dangerous so now like even if I leave it alone for five minutes I have to like power like shut it off which is just like not convenient you know there's definitely something wrong with it and also recently this is like the most annoying one is my space bar has not stopped working but it's also started doubling so every time I write a space bar like in an essay or like even in text messages like I feel so bad for my friends because my text messages just don't make sense so when I press a space bar it puts two space bars which means it puts a period at the end of the last word that I write and a capital at the next word that I write so it's just like super annoying it's hard to write essays with it obviously but even now that I'm done school it's hard to like watch videos and it's hard to edit videos because if I press pause like while I'm editing it'll press the space bar twice and it'll go pause play and I can't pause it and it's so frustrating. In like January we went to the Apple store to try and get it fixed but they didn't have the parts with them they were gonna have to order them from the states so they said they would have to keep my computer for a week but I was about to go back to school for winter semester so I was like I can't give my computer to you for a week so we decided to do it at the end of winter semester so like in April but then all the Apple stores closed because of the pandemic so recently my mom called the Apple store and was like hey like we were supposed to get your computer fixed in April but your stores are closed and her Apple care is gonna like run out soon so like can we extend it and the woman on the phone actually told her that we could send in my computer to be fixed and it would be gone for two weeks which we probably assumed was gonna end up being three weeks and then they could fix it right now so I was like that's great but I don't want to go three weeks out without a computer because like I need to edit videos which like it's not the biggest deal but like she is very gorgeous to me so my parents have an iMac in their bedroom but it's really old I literally don't know when they got it like 2010 I don't know and so they've been wanting a new iMac but they just never had a reason really to get one until now so this is gonna be my parents iMac after I use it for like a month while my MacBook is gonna be repaired and that's enough talking let's just open it Okay, I've only really watched MacBook unboxing videos, so I don't really know what to expect with the iMac, but I'm excited. And I got my scissors, and let's just open her up. Oh. Oh, wait. Other way. Oh my gosh. This thing's huge. Okay. Can I just toss this? So this is the front and then on the top here it just says iMac and then on the back it has the side view of the computer. Love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, there's something at the top here. Oh, I bet this is the keyboard. Oh my gosh. I love like how everything's brand new, obviously. Oh, pull this flap. 
That was not satisfying. Open the flap. So this is gonna be the new keyboard. So this is the first little piece. Is there anything else? Okay, so we have some instruction stuff, a little apple, no, two apple stickers. I'm not gonna use those. And a little cleaner thing, a charger. This looks like an iPhone charger though. So I don't know, maybe they just give you an extra charger. Got everything, oh. Oh, wait, oh, the trackpad. Maybe this will be a little more graceful than the keyboard. Oh, this is different than my parents' trackpad right now. Wait, I love this one. It's all white. Theirs is gray. It's so beautiful and it's huge. Okay. I'm gonna try and lift this out of the box. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh my God. So we're done with this box. I'm just gonna toss this to the side. All right, so this is what the computer looks like in its packaging. On the back here is a little pocket. And this is the cable for the actual iMac. There we go. Okay, so this is the computer right now. I'm gonna take off this last part. So there's a sticker on the back. iMac. It's silver down here, silver all in the back. Has a huge Apple logo. Okay, it's really hard to hold up, so I'm gonna move over to my desk, but we just unboxed the actual iMac with the white trackpad and the brand new keyboard. And then it also came with a cable and a charger. So first I'm gonna try and plug it in to my power bar. So I'm just gonna go like this. It kind of looks like I'm in an office right now because like I have an iMac. This is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna try and turn it on. It literally smells like brand new, like that new smell. Taking a little longer than I thought. Follow my Instagram, by the way. This is a perfect little promo moment. See you there. Oh, I don't have a mouse. Oh wait, I think I have to like turn it on. Also the keyboard. English to pair a Bluetooth keyboard, turn it on and wait for your computer to connect to it. Didn't I just do that? Canada. Continue. My Wi Fi. Oh, uh, what's my Wi Fi password? <laughs> Data and privacy. Yeah, whatever. My Apple ID. Can someone send me the code? Agree. Agree. So I'm gonna make my account first. Okay, who would choose this one? This owl is so creepy. Like it's just, oh my God, that's so creepy. It's like staring at you. Oh my God, you can even zoom it. That is, okay. Ooh, a rose. I'm gonna do Zoe Maya, account Zozo McCormack, duh. Why does everything take so long? This is so fun. This is so exhilarating. I'm really like, I don't have patience for this. While we're here, you guys should go leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the video so far. Ask me any questions. I'd love to answer some questions. I wish I could answer your questions right now while we pass this time together. <sighs> Hello guys. It has been two hours now, exactly, I think. And uh, as you can see, nothing's happened on the computer. I was sitting at this desk for like an hour and then I realized it really was not gonna turn on. So I like turned off the camera, I took a nap, I went downstairs to have a little snack. And now I'm back here and I'm going to try to just turn off the computer, question mark. I Googled like stuck, like setting up iMac. I Googled something, so it says turn off your Mac. I'm in this like little jacket now because I'm just cold. I've been waiting here for two hours. I haven't been able to do anything else with my day. Apple's kind of like raining on my parade here. I was very excited to set this all up. Oh, remind me tomorrow. We're finally in. To set it up, first I'm going to do stuff on this dock because I do not want all of this. Guys, 
this is my channel go subscribe this is the channel you're on right now so we've got grammarly in now we're gonna get the only reason i have this computer because i need final cut pro okay one thing i hate is this bar i want it to be hidden automatically hide and show the doc okay perfect i want to get this like analog clock screen saver it's like the cute one that you see in all the like room decor things for mac download see it's free guys it's amazing so screen saver we have our beautiful little clock this is what it'll look like wait but it's not 136 now we're gonna change this background because love the effort but no so on my macbook pro i have this wallpaper background thing that i made and i love very much it has like a bunch of places that i love places i want to go and like just things that inspire me and i want to transfer it to this iMac but I realized as I was taking my nap back there that I made it specifically to the sizing of my MacBook so I'm not sure it's gonna transfer over but we'll see oh you know what this is good for now it's only like cut off like it cut off the end of the sign i'm actually so excited to use final cut pro on this huge screen oh my god she's beautiful okay yeah i'm gonna like log into stuff and whatever but i'm just gonna do that off camera because like i can't really show you anyways but i'm going to take this memory card out and i'm going to put in a different memory card and i'm gonna upload the unboxing footage onto here because this is gonna be the first video that i edit on the imac and i'm so excited so i will see you on the new memory card we're gonna try and make our first project on this computer okay import okay i have recorded an hour and a half so far so here we have the whole video that you guys just watched i hope this is trippy i will be editing that now all right so that's the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching me unbox and set up my new imac computer if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and also comment something down below because i will reply to you and of course make sure to subscribe down below if you are not already i love you all so much i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video which is going to be edited right here. Bye!